This presentation will be on quadrilaterals. We'll be working on classifying, drawing, identifying, and comparing and contrasting the different types of quadrilaterals. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided figure with four angles. There are many kinds of quadrilaterals, but the five most common types are parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square, and trapezoid. So a parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel. The opposite sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Then we have the rectangle where the opposite sides are parallel, the opposite sides are equal, and all angles are right angles. So since they're all right angles, that means that the opposite angles have to be equal. So that means that the rectangle has all the same properties of the parallelogram. The rhombus also has opposite sides that are parallel. The opposite angles are equal. And then all the sides are equal. So since it has all those other features of the parallelogram, that means it's also a parallel, it falls into that category of parallelogram. Because if all sides are equal, that means the opposite sides are equal. Square has, again, opposite sides are parallel. All angles are right angles. And all sides are equal. So that means that not only does it have all the same properties or features of a parallelogram, it also has all the same properties of the rectangle and the rhombus. So that means square can also be called a rhombus, a rectangle, or a par parallelogram. Now, trapezoid, by contrast, has only one pair of parallel sides. So you can have special trapezoids where the unparallel sides happen to be congruent. So that would be called an isosceles trapezoid. But the only requirement to be a trapezoid is that that one pair of parallel sides. So this trapezoid, or this shape, is a trapezoid because it has one set of parallel sides and four sides altogether, even though it has those two right angles, it still falls under that trapezoid category. Now, to figure out what is the sum of the interior angles on a quadrilateral, use the following to help answer this question. The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. The angles in a rectangle and square each have a measure of 90 degrees. And all else fails, you can use your protractor. Using all of that, you should come up with the thought that the sum of the interior angles on a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Now here are some examples of some real quads.